Welcome to Math Made Easy with Mr. T. What are you going to learn today? Today, you're going to learn how to solve a formula for a variable. Let's do this! The formula C equals 2 pi r relates the radius r of a circle to its circumference C. Solve the formula for r. What are you going to do? You're going to solve the formula for r. Again, the formula is C equals 2 pi r. And we are going to solve the formula for r. How are we going to do that? Our objective is to isolate the variable. We are going to isolate the variable r. Come on, let's solve the variable. Again, the formula is C equals 2 pi r. To isolate r, we must divide 2 pi from both sides. How are we going to do that? Just like this. 2 pi r divided by 2 pi. And we are going to do that on the other side. C divided by 2 pi. What will happen? It will cancel 2 pi on the right side, leaving us R isolated. That's it. And we are just going to rewrite the formula. How are we going to do that? Just like this. R equals C divided by 2 pi. That's it. Let's try again. The formula A equals BC. Solve the formula for B. Again, what are you going to do? You are going to solve the formula for B. The formula is A equals BC. And you're going to solve the formula for B. Our objective is to isolate the variable B. Let's solve for the variable. To isolate B, we must divide C from both sides. BC divided by C, A divided by C. What will happen next? Mm, it cancels C, leaving us B isolated. And the next step is to rewrite the formula. How are we going to do that? Just like this. B equal sign, bring down AC. The answer is B equals A over C. That's it. Let me do it again. The formula Y equals MX plus B is called the slope-intercept form of a line. Solve the formula for M. We are going to solve the formula for M. Again, this is the formula. Y equals MX plus B. We are going to solve the formula for M. How are we going to do that? Always remember, your goal is to isolate the variable. And again, in this formula, we are looking for M. We are solving for M. Let's do this. Y equals MX plus V. To isolate M, we must subtract B from both sides. Minus B, minus B. That cancels B, leaving us MX. Or Y minus B equals MX. Solve the formula for M. We're not yet done because we haven't isolated M yet. So to isolate M, we must divide X from both sides. 
There you go. Mx divided by x. Y minus b divided by x. What will happen? It cancels x, leaving us the answer y minus b divided by x equals m. Let's rewrite the formula. How? Just like this. m equals y minus b divided by x. That's it! Your turn. The formula is z equals a y plus t. Again, the formula is z equals a y plus t. Solve the formula for a. The time to start is now. Okay, let's solve the formula for A. Again, Z equals A, Y plus T. Our objective is to isolate the variable A. To isolate A, we must subtract T from both sides. Minus T and minus T. What happens cancels t, giving us the answer z minus t equals a y. But we're not yet done because a is not yet alone or isolated. So what are we going to do? To isolate a, we must divide y from both sides. Just like that. There you go. That cancels y, giving us a equals z minus t divided by y. Let's rewrite the formula. How? Just like this. Bring down the a, the equal sign, and z minus t divided by y. That's it. You can do this. The formula for z equals t. Solve the formula for z. Again, the formula for z equals t. You are going to solve the formula for z. The time to start is now. Okay, let's solve the formula for z. Again, the formula is 4z equals t. Our objective is to isolate the variable. To isolate z, we must divide 4 from both sides. 4z divided by 4, t divided, divided by 4. That cancels 4 giving us the answer z equals t divided by 4. That's it! You can do this too. The formula 2p plus 10s equals r. Again, the formula 
2p plus 10s equals r. You're going to solve the formula for p. The time to start is now. Okay, let's answer this. Solve the formula for p. 2p plus 10s equals 10. Our objective is to isolate the variable p. To isolate p, we must subtract 10s from both sides. Minus 10s, minus 10s. That cancels 10s, giving us 2p equals r minus 10s. We haven't isolated the p yet. So, what are we going to do? To isolate p, we must divide 2 from both sides. Divided by 2, r minus 10s divided by 2. That cancels 2, bringing us p equals r minus 10 divided by 2. That's it! Now, I want you to answer the following. The formula is x equals y, z. Solve the formula for y. Number 2, the formula is 10x equals q. Solve the formula for x. Number 3, the formula is 5s plus 15t equals u. Solve the formula for s. Number 4, the formula is p divided by r equals q. Solve the formula for r. And number 5, the formula is x plus 15s equals a. Solve the formula for x. Thanks for watching! Always remember, stay safe and healthy! Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.